Hello everybody and welcome to your 15th C++ LEGO 5 platformer tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to be creating the, starting off creating the menu manager class. Now this might span like maybe two to four tutorials. Not really sure but uh, we'll see where it goes. So we want to create a new class and we want to call it uh, menu manager. And uh, so for the menu manager we have our constructors and uh, what we want to have we want to have load content uh, we want to have unload content and one thing I forgot to do uh, in the last tutorial if we go to I mean in two tutorials ago is if we go to splash screen uh, we can uh, there's we're creating a memory leak right and that memory leak is uh, we need to in the unload content what we need to do is a for loop uh, do the fade animation and we just have to say fade i no we just say delete fade i okay and then um we just have to say fade uh, dot clear okay so 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 everything so everything is good but I think there's one more thing that we should add um, and if you go to the screen manager dot CPP I don't know if we have added it already uh, do we have unload content so we have transition unload content and we should call current screen dot unload unload content so even so when we close the game window we can still unload the content we we can still free it the uh, your computer will do it for you but it is good practice to free your own memory uh so when they call unload content it will free the uh, current screen's content okay uh and uh this is one thing i changed in the screen manager uh if I go to my dry, I, I added this. Don't worry, you guys don't have that in your code. Okay, so let us continue with the menu manager class. Okay, so we have our uh, load content, unload content. We have our update, and we have our draw. So display. Well, we don't really need the display. Actually, I'll just put it in there just in case later on down the road. Uh, if if we don't need it and we could take it out whenever we don't need it uh, but yeah uh, so we should include um, I guess the screen manager so we had to display should have display in there okay uh, we'll include uh, Allegro level 5 um, and what is it again should include allegro.h and yeah okay so we got we got our things included so what we need to do is um we need to have where's our public section i know a private section so our, our menu items can either be text or can be images right uh I want I want to teach you guys to have versatility like to be uh to be versatile to be able to transition between two different things right so we're going to uh, um have the option for either images or text uh this is in turn going to make it longer to finish it but uh I think you guys would like the the option in the end okay uh so we need to include a vector So we're gonna say vector. Uh, we're going to have a string, and we'll call this menu items. And we have uh, another vector, and we're gonna call this um, we're gonna have bitmaps, and they're gonna call menu Im images. Now we have a two-dimensional vector, uh, and this is gonna store. Uh, our animations so we're gonna include animation.h and fade animation 
Now, the reason why we're including animation dot we're making this a type animation, not fade animation, is that our menu items can uh, we might we might not even want to be fade animation. We might want to be a zoom animation or any other animation that we add later on, or you could have multiple animations. So for this, uh, we, we don't know what we want, so we're gonna make it of type animation, okay? And uh, we need a pointer to that as well. Okay, so we have all that uh, set up. We need to have our item number. And what else do we need? And for our update, uh, we're going to take in our input manager and our input in there. Um, I don't know. Is that what I use? Do I use an ampersand? Oh, I normally use Allegro events. Sorry, I've never looked at like the whole code in a while. Okay, so Allegro event and we have our load content and everything. So let us go to the menu manager and uh, let's get our code started. So we're going to say void menu manager load content. Okay. So once, once we load the content, what we want to do is we should also, uh, we need to include a file manager. And we should also make a file manager instance. Okay, so uh, with the file manager instance, we're going to say load content. So we're going to load our menus, menus.cme. And uh, we need to also create attributes and content uh, because we don't uh, we don't we're not inheriting from the game screen class so to save time we're just gonna go to the game screen dot uh, we're gonna copy that and in our menu manager dot h we're just gonna paste it okay simple enough okay so we're going to type in attributes uh, we're gonna type in contents and we're gonna have our identifier so in our load content we need to have an ID std string id so we need to go back to our our load content in here and just add in id so we're going to put our identifier in there okay simple enough so we need to have our two for loops uh till attributes dot size And J is as an attributes I dot size J plus plus. Okay, so we're gonna say that if uh, attributes I J is equal to item, so that's gonna we we you can name it anything you want, right? But for my representation, that's gonna stand for menu item. So uh, menu item dot pushback. Oh, and did I name it wrong? Oh, my new items. Dot pushback. Sorry, these things in my way. It's hard to see. Uh, dot pushback. And that's going to be our contents IJ. Okay. And then we're going to have our else if attributes IJ equals image. Uh, then we're going to say menu images dot pushback uh, al load bitmap and we're going to load contents ij dot c underscore string and we load them in accordingly so there's also some other things that we're going to have to um, incorporate so let's go back to the menu manager dot h and we're going to have a float for position uh, we'll set that to two uh, we also need an axis and um, we'll have an a SED string called a line and you'll see why we need that and for we need Allegro fonts and we'll name it fonts okay so let's add the other types we're gonna say else if attributes IJ equals font uh, then font is equal to AL load font and the file name is going to be contents ij the underscore c string uh, the size make it 30 no flags and so we're going to say else 
if uh what else is there align buttes ij equals align uh, then we'll say align is equal to uh, contents i j okay so now we uh, for our position what we're gonna do is we're gonna split um, uh, two numbers that are uh, side by side so uh, how are we gonna do this uh, there's many ways we can go about it uh, let's see uh, you know what I'll just go with the first um, method that comes to my mind so we use the stream uh, we use a delimiter method since we already use it then it makes sense we're gonna say else if attributes uh, ij equals position uh, then we're going to make a string stream uh, string stream uh, str will add in the uh, contents ij we have a while loop um rcd get line sorry uh, get line will have the str will have another string um So we're gonna name this uh, string. Um, I don't know. Uh, line, whatever. Um, value. And so we're gonna put it in there. Value. And we're gonna separate it by spaces. Okay. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna say that. Uh, we need to be able to convert it to uh, interest so we're gonna say that position uh, for now we'll say that position 0 equals 0 and position 1 equals 0 so if they're if they're uh, so I'll say that if position uh, zero or actually I don't even need to do that uh, I'll just make a c counter set to zero position I'll say position counter uh, equals ATOF and uh, the value dot C string okay and we inc oh sorry and we increase counter by one each time. So I'm gonna end that there. Uh, we'll test out, test out, see if everything works next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.